So guys, it's um, Sunday morning, um, Scotty here, got um, front cover to put on, um, timing, timing chain, and timing gear, and um, one of the camshafts, so I've got my camshaft selection, which I'll go, back, go through a bit later on, why I'm used to choosing that one. Um, got uh, front plate to clean up and bolt back on and let me, uh, we'll check the cam timing uh, and we're, we're ready to put the front cover on and uh, bottom pulley etc etc and then we'll be making a start on the cylinder head then once so I've got the cam timing all sorted out and, and checked and we'll be making a tight, uh, making a start on the cylinder head. Alright, guys, catch you later. Alright, guys, well, it's, um, I've just countersunk the lower screw holes there where it goes into the, um, just get in a position where you can actually see what I'm doing. There you go. Just countersunk the two holes there. Um, you're going to get a, a screw like that put in because, um, this is the front plate off of the um, A35 engine and it's going to be getting a uh, duplex timing kit put on it. It'll come off the other end, well, come off the original engine, so just need to um, count the sink them, just drop those screws into. Um, there's not enough room for the normal head of the bolts. So, got my new gasket on and some. Uh, Thin layer of uh, joint and compound gasket paste. Gasket paste. These screws, incidentally, are exactly the same screws as go in the. Uh, the brake drums, so hold the brake drums on. Pretty much all the other screws are, um, or bolts are held in, or go through from the front cover, so you can only get about three, three bolts in at the moment, so. Right, I'm drop the camshaft in uh, and then I'm ready for uh, time and chain etc. Camshaft that's going in is um, basically a camshaft that's found in a um, completely standard Austin Metro um, automatic. The reason for that is the uh, the automatic has got the Okay, this is the um, camshaft locating plate. It's got a hole in it, as you can see. That's got a face that side of the engine because it's, uh, it's where that front end of the engine gets uh, front end of the camshaft gets its oil from. The uh,
tonic gears have to line up obviously and um, do that with a straight edge and some um, packing shims which I've already dropped in there onto the onto the um, crankshaft I don't know if you can see that there's a couple of packing washers going in there packing shims just before the woodruff go, key goes in there so um, you basically put these timing gears on these things together you put the chain and the chain around the gears line up the pulleys and pop them in together basically so to get this stuff done first Remember to make sure you've got your woodruff key in your camshaft. And it's going to line up, so make sure it's straight. It is. We just line the. Uh, get you so you can see. Just line the. Um, Get them so they're close and then wrap the chain. They should line up dot to dot, so we'll check it when it's on the on the uh, car itself, on the engine itself, sorry. Just going to check the actual alignment of the chain. Let's get you so you can actually see what I'm looking at. There we go. Just going to check the alignment. And we're, we're spot on, so. This one is fully flowing so you can actually make go past it and be sure that it is in line. So happy with that, don't need to put any more shims in. Chain set. Don't have any tensioner, you can fit a tensioner. It's an aftermarket thing for little, for later engines, you need a different front cover setup. Um, but it's not required for this job, not for what I'm doing anyway. Okay, catch you later. When you get your nuts uh, tight enough, don't forget to lock the tab up. Tab washer. Okay, so a nice simple timing chain uh, set up for one of these. Next job is um, I'm going to drop the uh, new cam for us in. Just check the timing compared to what I've got as notes. Just to we do um, a series of offset uh, woodruff keys for the um, one of the timing chains. So if it's miles out from what it uh, should be, because there's a wild difference in all the cams that comes out of the factory apparently so we'll check them check it off uh, what it should be and uh, if it's within a degree or two we'll, we'll see that's good enough okay cheers hi right, guys just um getting ready to uh gasket and bolt down the front um time cover but what i'm doing one of the things i'm doing just to modernise this thing a bit better, I've got that's the pulley that comes off the car, and I'm putting one of these damper pulleys on. Um, one of the failings of these in the old days was that the timing marks <coughs> was on the bottom of the engine. So you had uh, the only way you could do the timing was if you had it on a ramp, or you laid underneath it, or whatever, to get the timing marks. So well, I don't want to, be able to I don't want to be able to do it from the top with a with an advanced timing light. So um, plus the timing marks aren't going to line up with um, 
the pulley I'm putting on. So what I'm doing is um, just making myself up a pointer that I can uh, that will fit in snug and tight in there. Um, finding true TDC with the with the DTI by rocking it um, towards and past TDC to find the true TDC and then uh, when this is all bolted together I line the bolt it up and um, give the give the pointer a little twist just to get it absolutely perfect and then I'll be able to uh, use an advanced timing light Alright guys, that's the, uh, the pointer done and my TDC markings so we're all set now both sides real clean and uh, <coughs> what I've got is so that's done front uh, go timing have... covers all finished so that's that I've um, I've not got a socket here to do that um, with the gasket, front uh, pulley bolt I decided to stick with this just for no nostalgia it's the old starting handle bolt um, but I've um, give myself a note there just to remind myself that it's uh, not tight okay guys this is the last bit this is going to be uh, the next sort of section the engine's um, nearly there just got to uh, just got to um, fit the ancillary so the uh, cam followers are in can't see them because I've Forgot to take the film and then stick them in, but I'm sure you can. Uh, they're basically only buckets, so there's not nothing exciting with that. So they're all in, ready to go. Just, uh, just a matter of um, getting the head ready. The head's ready for um, a bit of work doing to it. It's clean, apart from um, needs. Uh, a bit of a clean up, they go for some mild bit of porting. There's not a lot happened to this yet, so in fact I'll check it whilst I'm, uh, whilst I'm here because see what sort of uh, material has got to come off the uh, off the head. So a normal, uh, a as well. normal thing we'll do is to mark around this gasket which would also seal and then uh, the edges of every one of these brackets, take the ports out to out to um, so give it a free flow. So. This next bit, better work on these little rascals. Okay, so catch you later.